Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode in the series where we are looking back at all the rolling stock that the train operating companies have used since privatisation. This episode will be split into two parts. This one will focus in on looking at the franchise's former rolling stock of Connick Southeastern and Southeastern Trains. In the second part, we'll endeavour to cover all the rolling stock operating under the current Southeastern Railway as a part of the Integrated Kent franchise. If you haven't done so already, then please check out our previous videos in the series. Links are appearing now. Also, if you like what you see here and you're new to the channel, then please like and subscribe. All your support goes a long way for the channel and more importantly supports the Bockwell Park Miniature Railway. I'd also like to thank our patrons as well, as their support has helped the railway through these recent tough times. So let's get this train rolling. Connex Southeastern commenced operating the newly formed Southeastern franchise on the 13th of October 1996 after the demise of British Rail after privatisation. Connex, being a part of the Viola Transport family, won the Southeastern franchise alongside the neighbouring South Central franchise. Their core routes operated out of London's Blackfriars, Charing Cross, Cannon Street and Victoria Terminuses to destinations in Kent and East Sussex in the southeast of England. Connex inherited two rather large differing fleets of trains. On one hand you had the venerable Slamdor stock, which was still in service with some units approaching their 40th birthdays, whilst on the other hand a rather new fleet of networker trains, some of which were the last passenger rolling stock to be built by British Rail. Connex Southeastern's stewardship of the franchise wasn't a happy one. This was dominated by the urgent need to replace the slam door units with more modern equivalents, poor customer satisfaction and after December 2002, financial difficulties. After having lost their South Central franchise to Govia in 2001, the Strategic Rail Authority stripped the South Eastern franchise from Connex in June 2003, despite a large cash injection being given to the company earlier on. On the 9th of November 2003, services were transferred to the SRA's own company, Southeastern Trains, until the franchise can be put out for tender again. The publicly owned Southeastern Trains ran the franchise until April 2006 when Govia was awarded the new Integrated Kent franchise, which also included domestic high speed services on the Channel Tunnel Rail Link or HS1 out of St Pancras. The London and Southeastern Railway Limited, trading as Southeastern, still to this day continued to operate the franchise after having received numerous extensions over the years. We'll start with the British Rail Class 411, or SEP. Connex Southeastern inherited 85 units at privatisation, however over time many of these were withdrawn or transferred to Southwest Trains. They were built at Eastley Works between 1956 and 1963 for the new Kent Coast Electrification Scheme. They were based on the British Rail Mark I body shell and at the time of the final unit being withdrawn this design was the longest lived BR Mark I EMU. 111 standard SEP units were built in several batches. On top of this, 22 BEP type units were also built with a buffet car in place with the standard class open trailer. At the end of the 70s and early 80s, the fleet received a major refurbishment as well. Under the stewardship of Connex, five units were reclassified as class 4119s, three SEPs, which resulted in the removal of the standard class open trailer. This occurred in 1999. Later on, due to problems with corrosion and operational constraints, a further 13 more units were converted. 
two units received a celebrity status whilst in operation with Connix at Southeastern. The first was 1592, which was repainted by staff at Ramsgate Depot into the original BR Green livery, to celebrate the final months of the unit being in traffic. The second was 1602, the only four set to be repainted into Connix yellow and white after it suffered a derailment damage outside London Bridge Station. Sadly, with the introduction of their replacement units, the Class 375s, withdrawal started as early as 1999. By March 2003, all bar 7 units had been removed from traffic, including all the three SEPs. The final seven had only been saved at this point due to them being fitted with the Train Warning and Protection System, or TPWS for short. In 2004, these seven were also withdrawn, but the 4 SEP action at Southeastern hadn't quite finished yet. A few units were cascaded from Southwest trains sporting a revised version of their livery. They soldiered on for a few more months before succumbing to the inevitable axe. Unit 1698 lasted in passenger service until September 2005 before finally joining its classmates at the scrapyard. A few units survive into preservation. 7105, a phase 1 4-BEP is seen here at the East Kent Light Railway in 2007. This unit is currently split with the motor cars at Easterly, whilst the trailer and buffet cars have found their way to the Epin Onga Railway. Southeastern inherited three Phase 1 4 6, which were built between 1964 and 1965, and 22 Phase 2 units built between 1970 and 1972. The three Phase 1 units only ever received an undercoat of white, without the Connix branding. Although this was only supposed to be a short term solution, they remained in this white livery until they were withdrawn. Out of the 22 Phase 2 units, only one was repainted into Connix yellow and white, the rest retained their Network Southeast livery. Like the four steps before them, the Class 375s began replacing them from 2003, with Unit 1843 being the final one to go in November 2004. None of the Southeastern 46s survive into preservation. Southeastern was lucky enough to have operated the largest fleet of the 423 VEPs compared to those in the South Central and Southwest franchises. The fleet had a more relaxed time working for Southeastern without many of the modifications seen on the South Central. Like the SEPs and SIGs before them, they too were replaced by the Class 375, with the final train operated by 3565, 3545 and 3568 in October 2005. A driving trailer of Unit 3568 and another from 3545 survived into preservation, being claimed by the National Rail Museum to be added to the National Collection. Connick Southeastern received 16 units of the Class 365, with the first being delivered in 1994. However, they would not see full service until June 1997, meaning that these units never saw service under Network Southeast. The Class 365s were a part of the Network Express family, which also included the Third Rail Class 465 and 466s, as well as the Networker Turbo Diesels, the Class 165 and the 166s. There were further proposals to include the so-called Universal Networker to the family, a networker unit capable of dual voltage using the 25kV AC overhead wires and the 750V DC third rail. These had been intended as the Class 371 and 38 ones. 
There was also a proposed mainline networker, the third rail only class 471, which would have been intended as the slam door replacement for the Kent Coast services of Network South East. The class 471 would have had a slightly different look to them as they were intended to have the end gangway door fitted, giving them a similar appearance to the class 442 Wessex Electric. However, as was the usual case, a lack of funding saw these concepts scrapped. Despite the cancellation of this scheme, a dual voltage networker was still needed and a class 465 was modified as a prototype to run as dual voltage. With funding for this smaller scale project received, 41 dual voltage networkers were finally built between 1994 and 1995 by ABB at Holgate Carriage Works in York. These were the final units to be built there and these units became known as the Class 365. The Class 365s remained with South Eastern until 2004 when the entire fleet was transferred to West Anglia Great Northern. They received a refurbishment along with the removal of the third rail shoe gear. Great Northern, a part of GTR, have recently announced that all Class 365s are to be withdrawn from service in May 2021 being replaced by the Class 387s. Their future is unknown after this. In 1996, Connick South Eastern leased 12 units of the Class 508 from Merseyrail in Liverpool. The Class 508s were four car units built by British Rail Engineering Limited at their Holgate Road carriage works between 1979 and 1980. Based upon earlier designs which included the Class 313 and 315s, they were 750 volt DC third rail capable units intended for use in Merseyside. After completion, they were in fact sent down to the southwest to operate services out of London Waterloo until the Class 455s had been built and delivered. By the mid 80s, the fleet had been returned north to their intended operators in Merseyside, however the 508s were only sent as free car units. A trailer car from each unit was retained and incorporated into the new Class 455-7s. The Class 508s worked for South Eastern up until the 12th of December 2008 before being placed into warm storage. They have all now been scrapped except for one coach from 508201 and 508209 for departmental use. A fleet of Class 508 continue to operate in Merseyside, however they are very close to the end of their lives, with their replacements, the Class 777s, being delivered as we speak. This concludes part one, looking at the past rolling stock used by Connick South Eastern and South Eastern trains. In part two, we'll take a look at the South Eastern Railway's current rolling stock that you can still ride on today. Until then, thank you and goodbye.